Black History Month is coming to a close this weekend, but a group wants you to think of black owned businesses when you shop year round. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore has more on the movement to help you find those local businesses. Gabriel Gordon is a fitness trainer who's also a businessman. Hey, good job. <laughs> As a black business owner, he's seen a movement to support places like his gym. It's something he welcomes, but hopes the moment highlights a bigger picture. Are you shopping black business because you just want to support your own, or are you shopping black business because this black business is reputable and giving you a quality product or service? He's listed on the website shopblackct.com. It created a directory featuring 1,300 plus black businesses in towns ranging from Ansonia to Woodbridge. The site is ran by volunteers and all marketing campaigns are at zero cost to owners. My hope, well, number one is that every black owned business has a place to um, share about what they're doing for free. The group dedicates countless hours a week to ensure the directory is successful. For me, my personal investment in the project is because I know that there has been um, an injustice for black individuals in America for centuries. ShopBlackCT.com developed during the Black Lives Matter demonstrations last summer. For supporters, it wasn't enough to protest. They wanted to take that same energy off the streets to every avenue affecting equity for black people long after the hashtags. Last summer, when people pledged to support black owned businesses, did they follow through months later? Sean Chambers thinks so. We're hearing more and more people tell us that they found us there, which means they are being intentional about shopping black. Chambers is the owner of a place where you can get out your stress by smashing stuff. Given the times we're in, his business is doing well. He credits Shop Black CT for its work. Shop Black CT is doing a great job of elevating our business owners here so that we can actually be credited for the work that we're doing to help elevate communities as a whole. Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.